executive director of the Center for Sports Administration, but probably more important, the coordinator of the program that you're either in or that you graduated from. And what we have done the last couple of years to get things going is a couple of panel discussions. It's, it's uh, my pleasure this morning to be the host of the 10-year panel discussion. Two doors down, we've got the five-year class. What we've done, so the alums know, is we've basically split our students and said you get a choice between going to hear from the five years or the 10 years. So in the audience, you've got a mixture of soon-to-be graduates, just a couple weeks away, and some first-year MBA students. So to get things going, let me just introduce our, our panel real quick. But down on my, my far right, Dean McKenzie, who does get the award for coming the furthest to Athens this weekend, all the way from New Zealand. Dean, good to have you back. Thank you. Right next to Dean is Terry Sieve, who is with the NCAA. I'm not going to go too far into detail on your titles and, and your roles, because that will be one of the opening questions. But Terry, welcome back. Terry might be the most popular guy in the alumni group. <laughs> when he took the job at the Masters, I said, David, do you, do you want us to put your phone number or email in there? Just let me know, because everybody in the book's going to be like, hey, you know, it's always been my dream to play Augusta. <laughs> so anyways, David, welcome back. David, thank you. Now, what, one lineup change, and in, in this business, students know you have to, you have to act on the fly, right? Josh Gold is on the disabled list this morning, <laughs> but I'm told that he was only the vice president of the class. So we went out and got the president. <laughs> Please welcome Carol Ann Smith. <laughs> and then last but not least, Greg Hewlin. Um, it was my pleasure to hire Greg coming out of grad school. Uh, the Cavaliers had just started a subsidiary called Mac Properties, and part of our plan was to go out and get two schools, and, and we got the two schools we wanted. We wanted uh, Miami of Ohio so we could build relationships in Cincinnati, and we wanted Bowling Green to build relationships in uh, Toledo, and Greg was our first employee with, or second employee with Mac Properties where he, he oversaw the relationship at uh, Bowling Green. Greg, welcome back. I'm going to take a seat and play uh, host because it's, I got the easy job, I'm just going to throw them out there. But first, first question, and, and Dean, maybe we'll start with you and then work our way down, but uh, 11 years ago, you interviewed for the program. You probably had to uh, get in front of Dr. Kreutzer in, in, in the interview committee, and they probably ask you this question like 20 years from now. What's your, what's your dream job? Where do you see yourself? So think back to your answer at that time and relate it to where you are and what you're doing today. I think it was a um, phone interview, actually, from memory, in the middle of the night, in the middle of our night, a um, long time ago it was. Um, 20 years. Um, I think I'm pretty close to, very fortunate to be where we are um, as a family and with the job situation. So. I think probably back then, um, some of the things that were important to me are still important, uh, being able to control my own destiny, if you like. Um, I was probably a little bit different at the time. I'd already been a chief executive of a, you know, I think we had a company that I ran at the time was a $25 million company, which by New Zealand standards was a reasonable size. Um, so I was probably at a different stage of my life when I came here than a lot of the other students. Um, you know, I never got on with anyone here, so... <laughs> yeah. let, let me build on a little bit. Can, can you also share with our students your role today and what you're doing? Uh, In 60 seconds or less. It's a diverse role uh, from agency work through to uh, general sport consultancy and marketing, so the variety is really good. I've never been on a desk for too long, which is good. Um, done, my, done my years of driving a desk. So... Um, yeah, variety, really. Probably that's the one word that would describe it. Okay. Um, Terry, 11 years ago, you're interviewing for the program. They probably asked you somewhere in that interview, 20 years from now, what's your dream job? Do you remember what your answer was, and can you relate it to what you're doing today? Um, I wanted to stay in intercollegiate athletics, and I wanted to be kind of an associate AD or senior associate um, SWA, and I was a Division I student athlete, so I really had a focus for 
Division One, and um, that was sort of my dream job. But when I left the program, I started an internship um, at the NCAA back in my hometown of Indianapolis. And just how the cards fell and some luck along the way, um, I was able to do a lot of work in Division Two and really enjoyed that opportunity and, and felt like it was the right fit for what I felt like intercollegiate athletics should be about. And ever since then, I've been working in Division Two. So, you know, your road does take you in a different way than what you think you want to do um, 10 years ago to what I'm doing now. David, did you see yourself at the, the Masters or? Oh, definitely. What, what, was, what was a dream job in 20 years and, and, and how was it, how well, was the road? Well, I'll just talk about, I mean, I, I definitely remember the interview experience just because uh, I had knew, known a lot of alumni and I knew right away that uh, I wanted to go to Ohio University. There was Joe Bick, Scott McCune, and Frank Antonelli, all three successful OU alums. And Frank was kind of involved in golf. Um, but I knew I wanted to work in the golf business, which was kind of unique. Everyone, most of these people were college sports, sports marketing, professional sports. So I was the one who kind of was off on my island all by myself, wanting to get in the golf industry. But you know, I'll never forget just because I, I kind of made it a 100% commitment, but this was what I was going to do and this is the field I've chosen. But I'll never forget just the things I've done to get there. And my favorite story to tell is I had been told about this interview process and how hard Doc Higgins was on you and literally made you feel uncomfortable. And I wish he was here today, but I... He's interviewing I, somebody. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here later. But, uh, I was working for the Dayton Bombers, a minor league hockey team. You know, I kind of was just doing whatever I could to work in sports, but knew I wanted to come here. And Doc Higgins asked me the same question: "What are you, what are you uh, doing for the Dayton Bombers? You know, what are some of the things?" I said honestly, I've done everything for them. I've even been Bucky the Flying Squirrel, their mascot. You know, <laughs> and he just looked at me, and I don't think he could hold his his smile or laughing, but I knew I had cruised through the interview because he. You know, he couldn't take me serious anymore. You know, <laughs> Buck, this Bucky to the flying yeah, squirrel. <laughs> Josh, when you interviewed for the program yes. 11 years ago, uh, somewhere they'd probably ask you what your dream job would be in 20 years. Tell you what, I actually applied in 98 first. Okay. Yep, and uh, so I'm excited. I chased a girl out here, and, I, and I, I, the interview was just a blur. And I was talking 100 miles a minute. I don't know what I said. Uh, just rambling, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and, and didn't get in. So come the second year, man, I was prepared for that interview like you would. I knew every question. I knew exactly what I was going to say. And I was sharp as a tack. And uh, I, professional sports, I knew I wanted to work in. I wanted to work for the San Diego Chargers. I, I knew that everyone liked the whole, like Doc K liked to know exactly what people were doing. They wanted to know exactly what person had to have drive, had to have direction, had to have sort of a goal in mind. So. Came back year two, I knew exactly. I'm going to be a, a director of public relations for the San Diego Chargers. I, that lasted two months at school, but but yeah. So I'm at, I, I that was my professional football, and then I, I actually was fortunate enough to get an internship with them when I finished, and realized they work way too hard, way too long, and and, and for way too little. So, but I, I yeah, I, I, San Diego Chargers PR was my was my goal, um, and uh, I was I was on track for a couple of days, and then. <laughs> and then uh, change reactions.